everybody. My name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now I know it's the summer right now and you're all feeling very hot and a little lazy. So what can we do in the summertime to feel cool and to, you know, cool down our bodies? So life under summer weather, what can we do? Every summer, our lives are directly affected by the weather. So our lives, like what we do in our every day, it's directly affected. It means it is like controlled by the weather. So the weather is sort of controlling how we have to live our life. Do we have to wear a jacket? Well, it's, we have to follow the weather. It's directly affected by the weather. Some are scorching or very, very, very hot temperatures always make us want to decrease our body's heat. So our body has heat, right? It's very hot, but we want to decrease it. So we want to make it less hot, less hot, cool and cold. We want to make it colder. So water activities, water sports like swimming and surfing have become a part of our weekly routine. So our routine, let's say our routine in a school day is we wake up, go to school, eat lunch, come home, do your homework, and it's a routine, right? But this is a weekly routine means in the week, what do you do on every Sunday or what do you do every Saturday? A uh, routine is like a schedule. Unfortunately, <clears throat> sadly, every summer, monsoon clouds bring typhoon rains. So typhoon rains and monsoon clouds, this is when we have a lot of rain in the summer. So around August or July, we have monsoon clouds and typhoon rains that bring a lot, a lot of rain for a long time in the summer. Making travel much more difficult. It's hard to go by car or by plane somewhere if it's raining a lot, right? For example, Plan planes can't take off and boats cannot sail, so people's plans always change. So if it's raining, then they cannot you know, go to their trip, right? It's important to remember that the seasons are all different across the world. Still, the summer season is the best because, hey, it's summer, right? In the summer, we have vacation. Uh, we can eat ice cream and you know we can do a lot of water activities so we have three review questions here a every summer our lives are blank by the weather so again we can think of the weather that controls the earth it's from the uh, like a puppeteer someone who controls a puppet and our lives are down here and we are controlled by it we are changed by the weather, we are affected by the weather. So when something affects you, then something is changing you, all right? B, summer's temperatures always or make us want to blank our body's heat. So in the summertime, the temperature is very, very high. It's maybe 30 degrees or even higher and our bodies also get very, very hot because of this, we have heat, right? So it makes us want to not increase our heat, not make it hotter, but we want to make it smaller. We want to decrease our heat. So when we decrease something, we are making something lower, we are making something less. We decrease five to two, right? C, water blank, have become a part of our weekly blank. So we can say water sports like surfing and swimming um, have become a part of our weekly schedule. So we just do not do it one time, we do it every week, right? Maybe every weekend we do this, we go to the water and we do sports. So we can say that is water activities and they become a part of our weekly routine or a schedule or a cycle like this, right? All right, we have three grammar questions here. Uh, we're gonna practice. 
Uh, for these ones, I want you to really try to find the verbs. The verbs are the action words, all right? A. Every summer, monsoon clouds, those big, scary, dark clouds, blank, typhoon rains. So, this is the main verb here, to bring, right? To bring something. So, if I am a monsoon cloud, right? I am very dark. I am bringing something, right? And we have many clouds. We see the S here. So we have a plural subject. Plural means there's a lot of something. There's not one cloud, there's many clouds. And when we have something that is many, we have a lot of subjects, then we do not put the S here. We just leave the verb normal. Okay? Uh, why is it not bringing? Well, because it says every summer. Every summer means at any time, right? Yesterday, today, right now, all, all the time. So we want to use the present tense, the right now verb. So when there's many, we don't put the S, we just leave it regular. Okay, if it was one cloud, then it would be brings, okay? So next one, for example, a plane can't blank. So they're saying a plane can't uh, you know, f start flying off this way, right? So take off is a verb, right? It means to uh, get off the ground. But we have one more verb here. It's right here, cannot. Cannot is what we say a helping verb, right? Now a helping verb like can't, after that we cannot change the word. So what that means is we can say can't take off, right? Because it's, we are not changing the verb. We can never, never say can't took off or can't taking off. We cannot change this verb after a helping verb, right? So we just leave it the original verb can't take, can't walk, can't talk, right? We never say can't talking or can't talked. It's only, only can't talk, the regular verb, all right? So see, my plans are always blank, right? So again, we have one more verb here, change, but actually the main verb here is are, right? So we talked about this rule, when we have a lot of something, we have to use the regular, um, we have to match the verbs with the subject, we have to match it. So this one, we have many plans and it is already matched, right? So what we're trying to say that it, something is constantly or always or continuously happening, so it is changing. Changing means is, it doesn't stop, it's keep going because it says always here, all right? Um, so this summer, the best thing you can really do is stay out of the sun, uh, listen to your parents and drink a lot of water, all right? Thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.